standards. Standards are what are routine and expected within your organization, and they are binding. You have to follow them. The organization has policy saying this is what it does, and this is what you're going to do. It's the acceptable limits for addressing the security strategy's objectives. Operational requirements, limitations, things you will do. This is above the baseline. Remember, baseline is the minimum acceptable level. You go below that, you can't operate. Standards are what you're expected to do. Now, procedures, procedures are the step-by-step -step instructions for carrying out policy, one by one. You put them, you do this step, you do this step, you do this step, you end up achieving the goal of the policy. Procedures are incredibly valuable when you look at things like disaster recovery. You're not going to recover from a disaster if you don't know what to do and you don't have good people. Well, if you know what to do but you don't have good people, you may still be able to recover. You define things out well enough, someone else with a reasonable skill level in that area can follow the instructions, do it, you're going to be good. Guidelines, best practices. What you want to do. Guidelines are not mandatory. They're optional. But all reasonable companies want to do what's best. Do things that are going to promote the best security at a reasonable cost. These are suggestions. You should probably follow them. If you're in the IT world, you see best practices all the time. You don't have to follow best practices, but you're probably foolish not to. Others that are leading the industry have created these, said that these work. And the industry leaders quite often share information with their competition to bring them up. Everyone should be looking at the best practices, should be looking at the guidelines, and probably implementing them if they make sense. Baselines, the very bottom. You fall below baseline, you're unfit to operate. You are a slacker, you're no good, and you're probably going to get cockroaches in your food because it wasn't clean enough. Baselines, minimum standard. Health department comes in and inspects the restaurant, it says it's clean, it's great. Maybe the bathrooms are dirty, not so good, but the food's safe. Maybe the kitchen has some real problems, but you're not going to die from the food, but I probably wouldn't eat there. And then there's the rats are running around. You don't even want to think about what you step in as you walk around. You see things that just make you shake. That's not acceptable. That's below the baseline. Seeing the food that may not be very good, that may be sickening, but you're not going to die from it, that's the baseline. You don't go below that. You don't go below a certain level of security. You say machines have to be patched within the last three months, up to date to then, to be on the network. If it's older than that, not going to be let on, just too dangerous. That's your baseline. Standard says, let's have the machines patched within the last week or two. That's a good standard. Baseline, patched within the last three months, will let you on. But if they're older than that, your system doesn't come on until it's patched. Baselines are mandatory. You must follow them. But, like I said, absolute minimum level, pretty low. You don't want to be operating at baseline. You want to be operating up at the standards and following the guidelines. Standards are binding within your organization. Guidelines are optional. That's what you want to be doing. Avoid baselines. They're just bad news.